news here at the Galashao Sports Complex in Galashao, Pangasinan. Second game of our triple header for the elimination round of your early yet NCRA men's basketball. Here's the game featuring the De La Salle Dasma Patriots versus the best league college of the Philippines, Kalasal. And now let's meet the starters first for the De La Salle Dasma Patriots. Small forward number 72, Gio Santiago. Foul forward number 6, PJ De Los Santos. Center number 23, James. Buda. Point guard number five, Rogelio Calagos. And shooting guard number three, Ron Roy Bunda. And coach for the Patriots is Tito Reyes. As this is by Rico Rivera. And now let's meet the starters for the best league college of the Philippines, Kalasa. Small boy number 27, JC Pitas. Power forward number 22, Jericho Koo. Center number five, Joshua Vidal. Point guard number 28, Aaron Reyna. And shooting guard number 77, Jun Ambrosio. And coach for Kalasag, Edwin Punio. Our officials for this second game are Gucci, John Santiago. Umpire one, Karim Pulawan. Umpire 2, John Castaneda. This game is under the supervision of Assistant Technical Head, Eric Flores, and Commissioner Anthony Sully. This is NCRA Season 30, XED Sports Beyond Borders! Still live here at the Kalashau Sports Complex, here in Kalashao, Pangasinan for the continuation of our elimination games for the NCRAA Season 30. Charles Bechong here. Coach Anton De Los Reyes bring you the action of the second game of our Friday triple header here in Pangasinan. It's the battle between De La Salle University Das Marinas Patriots and the best thing college of the Philippines, Kalasaga. Itong... Uh, De La Salle University, they're four and two right now. Ha, bang ito namang best in college of the Philippines, one and five, or one and six rather. So battle of contrasting situations. You have the Kalasag on the bottom half of the standings, whereas the Patriots, on the other hand, are battling to get to that second spot to share that second place with uh, a team that played earlier today, the AIMS Blue Sharks. So, Coach Tito Reyes mentioned for the Patriots that they did make sure to do conditioning work during the long break. So that's something that uh, we're going to be looking at. How they're going to run, how they're going to execute on offense. For the Kalasag, Coach Edwin Puno, Puno mentioned that uh, they need to consistently work hard all four quarters. So we're going to see how all of those things are going to materialize, how they're going to dictate how each team will dictate the pace and the tempo of this game. Now, the thing with this Patriots team, they are uh, heavily relying on their three-point shooting. They're streaky shooters. Gio Santiago hit uh, six three-pointers in a single quarter. Ron Roy Bunda, Calagos. All of them could uh, be, you know, the the main guy of the game para dito sa Patriots but the question is will they sustain it uh, all season long abang dito naman sa best league college of the Philippines uh, they're still finding out who will be you know their uh, focal point of offense other than Julito Estoya that's correct Charles so talagang meron ng set na main men ang Patriots whereas for the Kalasags 
they're really looking for who will be able to be the main guy on offense. But you like that they're sharing the ball. You like that they're able to um, distribute yung offense, give each and every one a fair share of that basketball. So we'll see kung ano ang mangyayari. Meanwhile, a miss on that breakaway layup from Rogelio Calagos. The score is 6-5 to five in favor of Bestley College of the Philippines Kalasag. Now, these two teams came from uh, very, you know, far places here just to play here in Kalasau. Itong uh, De La Salle, galing Dasmariñas, habang ito namang Best in College of the Philippines, galing ng Novaliches. So medyo lamang ang uh, best link best in terms link, of, oh. ano, kasi north na yun, Novaliches. So ito is north, ang De La Salle, Dasmariñas, yun ang talagang malaya. But you know, it, it's great that you mentioned that because I asked Coach Tito Reyes, no, earlier and he said how was i asked him coach kamusta naman yung biyahe ng mga bata hindi uh, ba sila pagod or anything of that sort sabi nila actually sanay na sila kasi galing nga silang dasmarinya sanay silang bumabiyahe because they always have morning games the first game is always dlsu it's always the patriots so sabi sanay na nila they didn't even bother making the trip last night oh they left early, early morning. morning yes okay. because 12 noon pa naman nga yung game so sabi ng mga bata Okay lang. And to be honest, nag-insayo pa daw sila kahapon. Talagang, wow. you know, ano sila, sanay. Sanay sa biyayihan ng ganto kalayo. <laughs> and now they lead by one. 7-6 to six is our score. 6.44 remaining here in the first quarter. Vidal, nowhere to go. Wild pass to Aaron Reyna. Now it's with Julito. Five seconds to work with. And that will not count anymore, even if it went in. And that's great defense by the Patriots. So taking a little too long to be able to execute their offense, the Kalasags. So they need to kind, they need to speed up the pace. Meanwhile, Rogelio Calagos finishing off the assist. Galing kay P.J. De Los Santos. P.J. De Los Santos finding Calagos cutting baseline. Good find by De Los Santos. Jethro Hu against Buda. And he is fouled by P.J. De Los Santos. Oh, that's against Buda. First personal foul of uh, James Buda. So James Buda getting whistled for that. It's a exactly. good challenge. Medyo sumabit nga lang daw sabi ni referee. Exactly. Six minutes left here in the first quarter. The score is 9 to 8. One point lead from De La Salle. Patriots. Bunda. Now it's with Calagos. Ambrosio on him. Santiago's three. That is good from Gio Santiago. And that's what we're talking about, Coach. The, the streaky shooters of Coach Tito Reyes. So that's one of them, Gio Santiago, knocking down his three-point attempt. Now watch out for RR or Ron Roy Bunda. Uh, Coach Tito told me that... Uh, he needs to lessen yung volume of his shots because he was 5 of 20 in their last game against That's Olivares. Yes. So he's trying to make it where in Ron Roy is more efficient. And that is important. You know, efficiency is important, especially in this level. Talagang kailangan nakaka convert ka at a very efficient level for you to be able to help your team out, for you to be able to make a mark. Uh, in uh, in the ball game. Maravilla against Calagos. Ambrosio with nine. Now it's with Vidal. And Ambrosio skying high for that tip in. 
Anthony Ambrosio crashing the offensive rebound. And on the other end, Ron Roy Bunda finishing despite the contact. Basket and one for Ron Roy Bunda. Great body control there. Spin cycle was able to get that contact. Still able to finish and uh, get the uh, Charles, the traditional three-point play. play. <laughs> or the three-point play the old-fashioned way. And meanwhile, three-point lead for the LaSalle Patriots. Now it's their time to set their defense. Ulito Estoya bringing down the ball. Now it's with Ambrosio. I like this matchup. Santiago against Ambrosio. And a block from Gio. On the other end is Bunda. Almost losing the leather. Calagos now to Bunda. Goes inside. Ulito Estoya, two against one. Challenges PJ De Los Santos. Nothing there. Gio Santiago drops it. Could not get it to fall. Escalagos. Ambrosio spins. Could not get through the wide body of PJ De Los Santos. PJ De Los Santos holding his ground, making life difficult for Anthony Ambrosio. De Los Santos with 11. Hands it off to Bunda. And that's the scary part of this Patriots team. When they're hitting their three-pointers, you cannot stop them all at once. 18-12 is our score. 315. Maravilla off the glass. It is good. And mandatory substitution for Ron Roy Bunda. As, uh, he has a busted lip, mm -hmm. so there's blood coming out of his mouth. That's why he has to uh, go out. But again, talking about Ron Roy Bunda, Coach Tito Reyes reminded him yung volume. So he did, he was 5 of 20 in their last game against uh, the Sea Lions. So right now, he's proving to be efficient. So he's uh, currently two out of three with five points. I'm oh, sorry. He's currently two out of three with six points. One three-pointer and one three-point play. So very efficient if you ask him. Way. Yes. <laughs> so we're all inviting you to watch us live here and join us as we witness the remaining elimination games of the NCRAA live here at the Kalashao Sports Complex here in Pangasinan. At kung pwede, magdala na rin kayo ng puto Kalashao. Ulito Estoya. Now to Sanchez. Too strong on that layup, but Ulito Estoya was there. Palagos. Now to Santiago, hits his second three-pointer. And a nine-point lead for De La Salle University, Das Marinas Patriots. La Salle by 23, best link 14. Two twenty-five remaining here in the first quarter, and the hot hands of the Patriots in effect right now. 
as they lead by nine points. Santiago wants his third, could not get it. Razonable, stolen by Vidal. Oh! That is swatted away by PJ De Los Santos. So PJ De Los Santos, really their anchor on defense. Wide body, able to get up high, able to get that block. Reina against Jacob. Razonable met him. Aguilar. Now, finally, BJ Sanchez makes up for that uh, miss earlier. BJ Sanchez crashing the boards, able to get that second serving to help his team, Bessling College of the Philippines, Kalasag, trim that deficit now down to seven. Rogelio Calagos, their uh, premier point guard for the Patriots, doing yes. a really great job of setting up his teammates. He has the uh, keys to the castle, if you want to call it that. He is the main. Uh, he's the main guy that uh, starts the offense for the Patriots. And P.J. De Los Santos might be a little too aggressive on that gamble. Resulting to a foul. And now he's going to the bench. I can't risk getting that second foul uh, with him being the anchor of the Patriots' defense. Aguilar against Santiago. Reina backing down Jacob. Pulito Estoya. And Sanchez again. Four straight points for BJ Sanchez. So BJ Sanchez, again, second serving for the best link college of the Philippines, Kalasags. Na hard work talaga. No, that, that's what the coach Edwin mentioned earlier. Kailangan talaga. Sipag at tiaga. And they need to be consistent. They need to keep that intensity from the first to the fourth quarter. Polito Estoya playing the inbounder and Aaron Rena gets fouled by Jacob. And we heard a story about Polito Estoya last night, Coach, right? Now. We were able to... Uh, He's not Going, I mean, uh, coming into the team, uh, he was not the most skilled, the, the best, he was not the best player on that team, but uh, he proved to coach Edwin Puno that he deserved to be in the lineup, he deserved that spot. Coach Edwin mentioned, no, like if he would set practice at 9 a.m., Ulito would be there two hours before he'd be lifting weights uh, you know getting the hard work in getting the work done so you see it it's paying dividends right now he's a starter he's in his third year and the, the games are you know it's already the, 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 the game nasa puso na is what they would say So you like to see that. You like hearing that from your head coach that, you know, his players are, are, are slowly developing into well-rounded, mature athletes. Three-point lead by the Patriots. Aaron Reyna pick by Sanchez. Wants to tie that ball game. Now it's Bunda. Oh! Stop and pop three-pointer. How many times or how often do you see that uh, there's a fast break opportunity then you stop for a three-pointer? 
Meanwhile, it's BJ Sanchez to end the first. 29-25 and the hot hands of De La Salle University Das Marinas Patriots in full effect right now in the first quarter. The score is 29-25. We'll be back after this break. We're still live here at the Kalashau Sports Complex in Kalashau, Pangasinan for the continuation of the elimination game of the NCRA season third year. Coach Anton de los Reyes bring you the action of the second game of our Friday triple header. The weather is scorching hot. So are the hands of the Patriots, Coach. That's correct, Charles. Alagang mainit to start the first quarter to start the game off you have Gio Santiago getting two out of three you have Ron Roy Bunda from uh, three as well getting the point getting uh, the points from the three-point territory so talagang you can see that they're really eager to get this win and get back into that uh, win column three point right. before midnight and then, uh, nung kausap natin kayo na si Coach Edwin, alauna na lang sila nakarating. Because <laughs> they missed an exit. Yes. But it happens. And uh, those are the stories to tell. When, one, uh, one of the factors uh, you have to consider when you're going uh, out of town to a uh, new or to a different venue. Six-point ball game. 31 25 is our score exactly nine minutes left here in the second quarter and uh, the thing about not heavily relying on three-point shooting i mean if it comes okay we will find the way to uh, get inside but it's a good thing to see because you know if the opportunity presents itself talagang you should take it but if not then you find other ways speaking of opportunity presenting itself Gio Santiago wants that three pointer it wasn't there he took it inside took the mid range jumper pasok. the same way with uh, the Kalasags if the three point shot is there you see their guards driving inside and dropping it off that's why BJ Sanchez gets those uh, easy uh, buckets same thing with Joshua Vidal. He gets those easy buckets. So, again, there are those opportunities when they do present themselves. It's just really up to you how you are going to make the most out of uh, those opportunities. So, not only in basketball, but also in life. It will also depend on uh, how you make the most out of those opportunities. And meanwhile... Before that play happened, before the foul on Bunda, against Bunda, Pulito Estoya had a sorry miss. Signaling to Coach Edwin. Coach Sabna. And there are those opportunities that you need to make the most out of. So you now, like to see that they're going to be able to do that during the game. Vidal. 
could not get that three-pointer. Now it's with Galagos. Maravilla on him. I like the control that Ron Roy Bunda is showing. The patience. Yes, no, the patience. Now it's Ambrosio. Guarded by Santiago. Inside to Maravilla. They get the easy basket. So secondary fast break working for the Kalasags. Vidal finding his teammate for that secondary fast break cutting down the lane. And on the other end, JL Razonable got fouled on that attempt. Yun nga lang, uh, walang continuation na binigay ng ating referees. Kalagos against Maravilla. Swipe by Ambrosio. Ulito Estoya is all alone for that breakaway layup. So great defense being shown by the Kalasags getting that transition offense going. Rogelio Kalagos, Santiago, that is short. PJ De Los Santos, Nata Picandon. And on the other end is Anthony Ambrosio finishing that fast, brave play. And just like that, it's only a two point ball game 34 32 in favor of La Salle. And Coach Tito Reyes wants to talk things over. Six forty-one remaining here in the second quarter, and it seems like Bestling College of the Philippines slowly wanting to uh, give their team the lead. Dan dahan nilang nakukuha yung kompiansa nila dito sa laro natin. Bestling finding their footing, four and zero run, trim that lead down to two, but just like that, Gio Santiago. Making mincemeat of that uh, defense. Ambrosio. Now it's with Ku. Maravilla. Siya ang nakawala doon. We don't expect one of the smallest guys on the floor to be in that uh, spot underneath. Maravilla. Directs traffic right now. Julito Estoya. Ambrosio. And that is good for Joshua Vidal. And the game is now tied 36 apiece. Santiago going all the way in and out is his floater. Canela paren ang bola. Gio Santiago point blank miss. He did get the offensive rebound. We are seeing a very good matchup between Gio Santiago and Anthony Ambrosio, both long, lean, athletic players. Kaparehas din ang posisyon yan, coach, no? Yes, they're actually matched up against each other, so that's a matchup we would like. We're going to uh, go ahead and uh, watch out for it. Meanwhile, it's cool cleaning up, cleaning up that miss by Estoya. They now lead by two. 38-36. Exactly five minutes remaining here in the first half. Ron Roy Bunda escapes through the defense of the Kalasags. That's excellent recognition by Ron Roy Bunda that there was no one underneath to protect the rim. So he's known for taking those long range shots. But at that time, pinasok niya. Ambrosio could not give them the lead. It's with Calagos. Fakes. Calagos scores. Basic, basic basketball by Rogelio Calagos. 
That's basketball IQ being shown by Rogelio Calagos. Getting the up fake, getting the bigger man up in the air. Gio Santiago, ito na naman ang mga nakapote, Ron Roy Bunda. Another conversion by the Patriots. And now Edwin Puno has seen enough. The score is 42 38 with 402 remaining. Telasal by four. Four oh two remaining here in the first half. Four point lead for De La Salle Patriots. 42-38 is our score. Reina checks into the ball game. Two three zone defense by the Patriots. And finally, Pitas, who just checked in. Kaambag agad siya dito sa Kalasag. So that's Henrik Pitas, number 10, who has a brother. He's dead.